Extreme Persuasion Strategies Number one, include the reprint or reproduction rights with your product. This increases the perceived value because people can start a business and make money. You can also include some of your advertisements in or on the product. The more it gets resold, the more your ad is going to be seen. Number two, get the word out about your product and brand it. This increases the perceived value because people believe brand name products are better quality. If you want to quickly brand your product, team up with an already branded business and use their name. You could just give them a percentage of your profits. Number three, participate in chat rooms related to the product you're reselling. Start a conversation with a person without trying to sell him or her. Later on, while you're chatting, mention the product you're reselling. You could end up selling your product, creating a friendship, or finding a joint venture partner. Number four, create a free ebook with the advertisement and link to your affiliate website. The subject of the free ebook should draw your target audience to download it. Also, submit it to some free ebook directories. The more exposure your free ebook gets, the more your ad will be seen. Number five, start your own affiliate program directory. Join a large number of affiliate programs and list them all in a directory format on your website. Then, just advertise your free affiliate program directory. You'll earn commissions and gain sub-affiliates. Plus, you can start an affiliate-related e-zine as well. Number six, write your own affiliate program ads. If all the other affiliates use the same ads that you do, it won't give you an edge over your competition. Use a different ad to give yourself an unfair advantage over all the other competitors. If you have sub-affiliates, tell them to do the same. Number seven, use a personal endorsement ad. Only use one if you've actually bought the product or the service for the affiliate program. Tell people what kind of benefits and results you've received using the product. You need to purchase the product or service in order to write an honest endorsement. Number eight, advertise the product you're reselling in your signature file. Use an attention-getting headline and a good reason for them to visit your affiliate site. Make sure your signature file doesn't go over five lines. Also include your name, occupation, business name, and email address. Number nine, join a web ring. It should attract the same type of people who would be interested in buying the products that you're reselling. You could also trade links on your own and on the other related websites. Also, you could create an e-zine ring with other e-zine sites. Number 10, participate on web discussion boards. Post your comments, answer other people's questions, and ask your own questions. Include your affiliate text link under each message you put, that you post. If they read your message and they like it, they may click to see what else you have to offer them. Number 11. Create a free e-zine. Use your e-zine to advertise the affiliate programs you've joined. Submit your e-zine to online e-zine directories and promote it on your website. Trade easing ads with other publishers and announce your easing to easing announcement lists. Number 12. Start a private website. Use it as a free bonus if people buy the product you resell. You could also allow people to join for free and you could advertise the affiliate program that you've joined. You could also charge a subscription fee for an upgraded version of it. Number 13. Provide your website visitors with content they can't read anywhere else. People will stay longer at your website to read the original content. You could also allow them to read through your easing and archive the back issues on your website. Or you could charge access to the back issues because it would be original content. Number 14. Remind your website visitors they can print out your content. They may browse around your online store while it's printing. They may read it at home, work, outside, etc. Other people might see what they're reading and want to visit your website or subscribe to your easing as well. Number 15. Offer your website visitors a freebie if they take the time to fill out your online survey. They'll be at your site longer and might buy something afterwards. Your survey could ask them what kind of products they want, what they think of your customer service, and how they like your website. Number 16. Offer your visitors free software that they can download right from your website. While they're waiting, they might read your ad. Also, if possible, 
include your ad in the software so after they open it, they'll see your ad again. This will help increase your sales. Number 17. Provide a huge online directory of information that your visitors could search through. The directory must contain information your visitors would want. It also could be news stories, how-to articles, interviews, case studies, profiles, survey results, online audio, online video, ebooks, reports, etc. Number 18. Make sure all your web pages load fast or your visitors will get bored and leave. Time is precious. They won't waste it waiting for your site to load. Do not use too many graphics and high-tech gizmos. They may have a hard time finding your product or your ad. Number 19. Tell your visitors what's offered at your website at the very beginning. If people are confused about what's being offered, they may leave too early. You could tell them the benefits they get and the things that they can do at your website, like subscribe to your easing, read free articles, download free ebooks, learn to increase their sales, etc. Number 20. Make your website look professional. People will get turned off and leave if they see a lot of spelling and grammatical mistakes. You don't want any broken graphics or links either. Make sure your background colors don't make your text hard to read. Number 21. You could hold a holiday sale for your potential customers. For example, you could tell them everything on your site is discounted by up to 50% on Thanksgiving Day. Another example is the 4th of July sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one half off. Using holiday sales gives you a specific and credible reason for offering prices on a special discount. Number 22. Use headlines and subheadlines all over your website that will grab your visitors' attention. They will attract them to explore your website longer. They could be for your free easing, product, free content, message board, chat room, etc. Number 23. Place colorful graphics, pie charts, and other charts in your ad copy. Use charts as they will grab a person's eye because they're usually quite colorful. They will also support your product and service claims and allow your target audience to understand them easier. Number 24. Highlight buying incentives like free bonuses, money-back guarantees, testimonials, special offers, discount sales, etc. You could place them in boxes in front of different colored backgrounds. Assemble symbols or graphics around them, etc. Number 25. Use short sentences or sentence fragments in the body of your ad copy. A short burst of words can catch a skimmer's eye with one quick glance. If people have to read long sentences or paragraphs in order to understand your message, the skimmers may not order from you. Number 26. Highlight all the important keywords and phrases in your ad copy. You could use bolding, underline, different colors, graphic text, italics, symbols, indents, and extra spaces to highlight the important words or phrases. Number 27. Place attention-grabbing pictures above and within your ad copy. A powerful technique is to use before and after pictures of people using your product. They will give your target audience a clearer vision of what you're offering. That will help them imagine themselves getting the benefits of your product. Number 28. Use a headline that catches the attention of your target audience. You could use many different types of headlines. Free offers, guarantees, testimonials, news stories, questions, benefits, warnings, statistics, or features. Number 29. Make your ads keywords and phrases stand out by enlarging the text. This technique works wonders with headlines and subheadlines. People see them first because it's easier for their eyes to focus on. You could also use different fonts in your headlines than the rest of your ad copy. Number 30. Make your product's list of benefits and features stand out by using a symbol in front of each of them. The symbol could be a dash, solid circle, star, etc. Also, indenting them will help make them stand out. Each benefit should be written like a headline to get the reader's attention and tell them what's in it for them.